if you're Dana, you're going, that's a great idea. And that's yeah. a shitty idea. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a shitty idea. I don't think I like it. You I know? mean, I think, I think it's a fantastic idea. I think this is going to be a fantastic fight. I just think that Max is going to be a little bit too much of the movement. He's going to have the long jab. Teporia, um, if you go back and watch some of his old fights, he does, even though he was very accurate against Volkanovski with his striking, he does sometimes have a tendency to miss. He aims high. He People can duck under his combinations, which Max will have a harder time with because Max is the taller fighter. But Max is really good at judging that distance, getting in, getting out, with his feet still planted. That makes a big difference as well. If I can slide back a little bit without moving my feet, literally lean back, make you miss and make you pay and step into the shot, I think that's where he's going to have a lot of success. Snapping the jab, moving his head left and right. He can plant his feet and still make Taporia miss. Look, Bryce Mitchell was able to make Taporia miss. Max can make him miss too. Even though even though he had success against Bryce Mitchell, but I'm simply saying there was a couple Yeah, a lot of success. There. Yeah, but he, there was a couple combinations there that had Taporia touching his face to the fence like Ronda Rousey. So let's let's not forget like there he might be a really good boxer, and I I do agree. In that pocket range, boom! Look out! Look out! This, this, I agree, this, but John, that's not the way that Max is going to fight. Let's hold on, that, like that's how he's going to fight. Ah, but you got to break this down to the point. What I know what you're saying. This is a fight decided by range. What range is the fight fought in? If this fight is fought at a long distance range, this is Max Holloway's fight all the way. He's gonna fight at the best box. Hold on, in, in hold MMA. on. He's gonna uh, fight, at his, range. He's gonna fight is, at his range, Max Holloway's on. range. Hold on, you're saying that and you're saying he's the best boxer, and I'm someone that's you know there to agree with you. I look at you know, I'm a Max Holloway fan. I'm, I kind of, you I'm a homer, I'm a homer, I admit it, but I will say, look, to Puria, as far as getting inside. There is a huge difference between his ability inside and Max's. Max wing, Max is a guy who controls range. Inside, his shots don't get there because he starts to wing more. Outside, he throws beautiful straight shots, comes with you know different angles. But on the inside, in that phone booth, Tapuria is fantastic. Mm -hmm. He is so deadly in there. And so Volkanovsky is a guy who is able at times to keep him at range and when he couldn't look at what happened and that's exactly what max has got to do he's got to be able to keep him at range and i i can look and say max has fought people similar justin gaethje is a guy who breaks your range down and steps inside of it and unloads with big shots but he's also not as clean of a stand-up fighter as tapuria tapuria is a more technical guy not that Justin doesn't have great power and great stand-up. He does. But if you look at the smoothness of how they do it, Tapuri is the smoother guy. Like he, the other part of it is, is he going to use his wrestling and his ground game? Because Tapuri on the ground is fantastic. Mm -hmm. You can go and go back and take a look at some of the people that he has put a beating on. Some of them are some great grapplers, and he outgrappled them. So which, which Tapuri is it going to be? Is it going to be the stand-up guy? Is he going to start to try to take Max to the ground? That's not an easy thing to do, but if he gets it there, he does have the advantage. You know, Taporia said, hey, why doesn't he try that whole come out to the center of the ring in the beginning of the fight in the first 10 seconds and see what happens? <laughs> I mean, I know. Don't doubt that he wouldn't do it. Exactly. I'm kind of in that, like, you know what? Let's just let's just wear it all out right now. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> and, <laughs> You, you look, you think about it. Yeah. If you're, if you're Dana, you're going, that's a great idea. And that's yeah. a shitty idea. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a shitty idea. I don't think I like it. You I know? mean, I think, I think it's a fantastic idea. It I, is. If you see two fighters come out there, that's going to be the most talked about thing in the sport for probably a couple of weeks, maybe even a month. Oh my you God. Know how, you know how quick we are to just click. If they the hold on. If they just said, boom, and did the max boom, 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 I'm pointing. And they just started throwing until someone went out. It would be talked about forever. Yeah. I think it'd be great. And to do it in a title fight where there's so much on the line, that's what Whoa. makes it even more special. But I, I actually, even though I've, I say that Tapori is the guy inside the phone booth that is has the tighter combinations yeah. in that area, but I also look at Max, man. He gets it done in that range. He did it against Justin. I know Justin's winging it and stuff and leaves the openings there, but I, I just feel like in that position, 
Max can fight in the inside if he needs to, but he obviously off the range at his distance and at his range and the speed. Someone was just posted too in the comments saying basically they have the same reach. Can you look that up for us, Dave? Fun 69. Nominal. Both of them are 69, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the difference is the shoulder girth compared to the arm length. What do you know about girth, John? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Bet US put out the thing about, you know, could Tapuria be the first guy to knock out, you know, Max Holloway? And I, I, I put out a tweet saying, man, you don't, you know, you don't spit in the wind. You don't tug on the on Superman's cape. You don't pull the mask of the Lone Ranger. And nobody knocks Max Holloway out. <laughs> Let's just be honest. That's nice, John. That's Thank nice. you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, but it's, just, you know, I, I've said it for The guy's got a chin and he has got the ability. And I've seen him hurt. But I've seen him, he does a beautiful job when he is hurt to control matters, either get into the clinch, move. He's super smart. His fighting IQ is way up there. And I just look at, you know, if looking at this, knowing that either guy could win, and yes, I'm a homer, I would take Max Holloway at that plus 205. I, how could I not? I would probably take the over. Knowing that Taporia, he's got a good chin as well. He can take a shot. He can also wrestle if he gets himself in trouble. And Max has a great chin. And he also is very good at staying on the outside, avoiding the big shots. At Max Holloway at plus 205, I would take the plus 205 because there's a damn good chance that Max Holloway can win this fight. Yeah. Uh, there's a damn good chance, too, this thing is going to go the distance. And if it doesn't, it may end up being one of those fights where it's it's the Justin Gaethje, uh, you know, last second, last second knockout if they decide to stand at, point at, the, at the ground. So you never know, man. Um, but overall, Tapoya can win this fight. I, oh, yeah. I do know that he can wrestle, John. It's just how often have we seen guys take Max down and be able to control him on the ground to the point of winning rounds? Volk did it for, a, 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 what, one, one, two rounds, I think? Connor did it. That's Go back cold. all the way now, but that, that's a long time ago. Yeah. You know, and it's a different fighter, but you're taking a look. I, I mean, there's so many instances where you can look at uh, Tapuria's gone against real. You know, remember when he fought Ryan Hall? Hmm. Now, he ground and pounded the shit out of Ryan Hall. Yeah. Okay. Everyone, you know, being afraid of Ryan's ground game. No, not at all. Damon Jackson was a guy, great ground game, destroyed him, you know? Yeah. yeah. It, he's fought a lot of guys that you can look and say, man, that guy's got a great ground game. You know, Bryce Mitchell being another one. You know, and just absolutely destroyed him. And, you know, he submitted Bryce Mitchell. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I look at it and it's like, <sighs> Tapuria has more ways of winning this, in my opinion. You know, as far as he can take it to the ground. And I, I do believe he's got the better ground overall. Because he's got an offensive ground game where Max's is more of a defensive. Mm -hmm. So, Max isn't really going to be looking for the submission, you know, off of his back he's going to be looking to get himself back to his feet or defend himself and keep himself safe but Tapuria is just he's that new breed man he's good and i mean good everywhere john i'm going to go with the max 205 take that i'm going to take the over at four and a half plus 110 and i mean i feel like it's i feel i don't want to say easy money but i feel like that's a pretty safe bet and i and i'm not knocking Tapuria at all i also think that He's fought good guys, but he's fought guys that I feel like are kind of the guys you mentioned, whether it's Bryce Mitchell, whether it's the leech, uh, what's it, Damon Jackson, Damon Jackson, they're kind of one dimensional. They're not very good on the feet. They're not very good on the, you know, they're good on the ground. The wrestling, like Bryce Mitchell's wrestling is good, but not, not next level. It's not world-class. We're not, we're not five time, you know, no, but his grappling is damn good. It is good. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah. But one dimensional. When you know someone's one dimensional, how do you beat him? And he beat him in his own game, too. Uh, I was he, say, he just hey, swarmed him. He swarmed him. I mean, what I've heard from and seen from, from Taporia, he, he's he's a very confident fighter. He believes in himself, which he should. Totally. I, you know, because I know we spent I spent a lot of time hyping up Max, and I think Max is the man. I, I got a big – I got, like, a little bit of a man crush on Max thing. You know, he, he's so fun to watch fight. He's a great personality. He's great for the sport. Taporia, though, is coming in. He's kind of that guy. Now he's the champion. He's not making friends with anybody. No. He's pissing off the Nurmagomedovs. He's pissing I off love the it. chefs. He's pissing off the, the Maxes. He's pissing off everybody. I mean, I get it. I understand. But, man, he's got some buzz going on right now about him. But um, it, I don't know if it's a good thing. Because, that look, 
like I've said before in the past, and we had Josh Koscheck on uh, recently, it's it's cool to be the heel when you're winning. When you're winning. It's not cool to be the heel when you're losing because now it just feels like everything's a snowball going downwards. Once you start losing, now he seems like a very, he is a very confident fighter. You know, he's a very confident person, believes in himself. I understand that. But as you become as you become the heel and then you start winning and winning, great. It's easy to be the heel because you, you can back it up. What is he, 7-0 seven and oh, seven and oh now in the UFC? Mm-hmm. So, I believe so. Yeah. But you can back all that up. But once it comes down to once you do lose that first fight, it starts to be a snowball effect. And we've seen it time and time again with people that were the hill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, you know, like I said, this is as good a matchup as you can get in the featherweight division. It's got two, uh, you know, a former champion in Max Holloway, the current champion who is undefeated in Ilya Tapuri, and a guy who, when you, you watch him, you go, man. What who's it who's gonna be able to solve that riddle? Who's the one that's gonna be able to break this down and create a blueprint to beat this guy? You better be on your game. You know, and it was, it's this is no different than what I said about Max when you know he fought Justin Gaethje. I said, Look, if, if Max fights Justin Gaethje the way he fought Calvin Cater, mm-hmm. look, I guarantee you Max Holloway's gonna win that fight. You know, we were going back and forth. Yeah. Now I can't say that that's gonna happen. You know, that's you have that kind of performance. But he's going to need that type of performance to get a win against Ilya Tapuria. But we've seen he can do it. Uh, go to WayneAmerce.com, pick up some of our apparel. We want to thank BetUS for uh, supporting our show, continue to support our show. Element, stay salty, my friends. It's the watermelon. I love it. This is my favorite one right now. I like the one that John has, too, the chip. Yeah. The, uh, Black cherry lime. Black oh. cherry lime, baby. That one's good as well. It's a good one. The uh, link is down below in the descriptions. Every time you purchase through our link, they will send you a bonus package, a gift, uh, I would like to say. When Extra you product. Just, yeah, so make sure you guys uh, buy through that. 